Yo, it's Kyle Freems. Hello, I hope you all are doing wonderful. Today, I'm going to teach you something very important that you all want to know. This is the buzz lately, all right? Everyone's looking to be me. And I tell them, like, but your name's not Kyle Freems, so how can you be me? Well, if you want to be me, you know, if you want to actually get the know-how on who Kyle Freems is and how to be him without having the name and entitlement that Kyle Freems has, I've made a step-by-step -step guide for you on how to be Kyle Freems. So, let's get right into it. Uh, step one. Get down to it. Step one. Get the fit. All right? This is the Kyle Freems outfit. It's exclusive. Need to know what you're rocking, all right? So first off, the hair, all right? It's got to be slick back, okay? Can't have your hair any other way. It's going to be a slick back, black haircut. Um, it's got to be exactly like this guy right here. It's got to be exactly like this in, in perfect condition, all right? It's got to be the greatest hairstyle ever, okay? You got to have that. The fade, don't really care about. Just have a slick back haircut, okay? Next. You gotta have some shades, all right? You can't be Kyle Freems without some shades, okay? That's the most important part of this, all right? You need those shades. Now, personally, I wear sport shades, okay? Those are the, the best fit for Kyle Freems, but any shades will do. If you're looking to just have a knockoff Kyle Freems, you know, you can get some, like, you know, some five coin shades from the shop, okay? Just just buy some shades, put them on, should be good to go. Now this, this is iconic, okay? This next one, this is iconic. The macaroni necklace. The Kyle Freem's exclusive, okay? You can't go anywhere without this necklace, all right? Now if you don't have this on, people won't think you're Kyle Freem's. No, they'll think you're just some other realm or Roman the realms and that's not okay you need to have this macaroni necklace if you don't i mean dude who are you fooling who are you fooling no one's gonna buy that no no one's gonna buy that you're the real kyle freems I, there are other necklaces i believe but i would recommend getting the macaroni necklace because it is my exclusive brand okay i do wear it all the time so there's that um and then of course for the t-shirt for the clothing accessory for the top, you're going to need a black t-shirt. Nothing special, nothing fancy. It's a black t-shirt and nothing else. That's all you need. You could, you could, you could, you know, customize your wardrobe, but I would personally just, just rock the shirt. Just rock the shirt and you'll be good to go. Now, as for the bottoms, I recommend shorts. Shorts are what I wear, all right? I wear nothing but shorts, okay? We don't, these are basically, I mean, these look like jorts, you know, like jean shorts. Um, they kind of are, but they're also like khakis, you know, cargo shorts, you know. Um, but they're black, so makes them look cool. Okay, so you need to wear these. If you wear pants, you're going to look really weird with the next part of this, okay? Now, the next part is, I don't wear shoes. Shoes are irrelevant, Okay. If you're wearing shoes, you're not really Kyle Freems, okay? Shoes are garbage. So please take off your shoes, all right? No shoes. This is how this is how you're going to be me, all right? You you follow this outfit, you've completed step 1. You know, I I'd say that you're good to go, right? I mean, what else do you need from there? But there is more to it. It's not just the fit. The fit's the first part. That's step 1. On to step 2. Get to writing. Now, step two is very important. In order to be me, you got to write some lore. All right? It doesn't have to be anything crazy. Maybe just a fan fiction, you know, as the professional writers tend to call it. You need to write some fan fiction stories, okay? Maybe write about how Chatty and Tony got together one night and they were just like, you want to crack open a couple of cold ones and get down to business? You know, those type of fan fictions, and, you know, I won't go further into details, but, you know, I think that's the kind of story you need to be writing. You need to write some fan fiction, okay? 
This will really prove that you're Kyle Freems and that you are the best Freemer in all of Free Realms, okay? Step two is pretty basic, you know? Gets you, gets you in the gates of the Kyle Freem realm, okay? Gets you into the Freemer realm. Now, but the next step, it's going to get complicated, okay? It's going to get crazy, all right? This is where I'm going to need to do some real explanation. So, step three. Make some memes. Yeah, that's right. You want to be me? You got to make some memes. You got to make some stuff, okay? You got to make some stuff. Now, I have, I have so many memes, so, so many memes that I could talk about for hours, but um, these are the, the six that I recommend that you start with. You need to use these as templates and make your own from here. So you got the, the, the what would you like for snow days Kyle meme. You got the secretary Kyle meme. Um, you got the free home sunrise game art meme. You've got the, the sunrise update meme. You've got the postman meme. You've also got the website meme. Listen, if you're not making memes, you're not going to be a Kyle Freems. Okay, that's kind of my motto around here. Memes are a part of my culture. If you don't respect that. Even with the fit in the writing, you're not going to pass, okay? You're never going to get through the door without some memes, all right? So, you know, send some memes my way. They need to be solid quality memes. They need to have you know, text. They need to have PNGs in the meme. They need to have a template. Just, you need to have some memes, okay? Some good quality memes. Now, you thought step three was hard, okay? Step three is like... Step three is pretty hard, right? But step four, it's probably the hardest one of all. Or it could be easy depending on who you are. Next step, step four, find some haters. You know, you really need to find people that hate you, all right? You need to start controversy within the community, you know? Talk about how OSFR is not okay, all right? Just talk about that. Talk about how the Reddit's garbage, all right? You need to... Just just go out there. Talk about some controversial stuff. Talk about how, like, Mayhem is, a, is cool and he's the best. And uh, talk about how the game will come out when it comes out. You know, say stuff like that. Maybe people will start hating you, and then you need to embrace that hate. All right? Embrace that hate and just become Kyle Freems, okay? Become a Freemer, all right? People, if people hate you strong enough, you will be the best Freemer possible. I guarantee it. From my experience, I know I'm the best Freemer I can be. So don't worry. All right? You'll find some haters. You'll write some lore. You'll make some memes. You'll get the fit. And when all is said and done, you'll eventually be me. You'll eventually be me. It's crazy. It's crazy. And now step five. Freemer, question mark, question mark, question mark, profit. So at this point, you've completed all the steps, and now you have what it takes to enter the Kyleverse, okay? The Kyleverse is an, an illusion, a spectacle, if you will. It is crazy. It's insane. Once, you, once you're in the Kyleverse, there's no going back, okay? Now, obviously, I have evolved from these Kyles into a Supreme Kyle, an HD Kyle, all right? I, I have turned RTX on, and now I am a better Kyle myself. So this is how you become a Kyle Freems. You want to be me? That's how you do it. You gotta, you gotta write some. You gotta get the fit. You gotta write some lore, make some memes, find some haters, find people that hate you, and then you become a Freemer. And eventually, it'll all pay off in the end. So don't you worry. All right, I am here for you all. Have no fear. This is how you become Kyle Freems in less than 24 hours. It should take less than 24 hours, you know. Probably like, you know, first, I don't know, let's say four hours, you, you get the fit. Next four hours, write some lore. Next four hours, you make some memes. Next eight hours, you find what? You find some, uh, find some haters. And then, you know, in the next four hours, um, you know, you could be a framer. You could do it. You be me. It, that's that's all it takes. It, it's 
You know, if you thought it was complicated, it's not. It's a simple five-step plan that works every time. And, uh, you know, I'm proud to say that being Kyle Freems is probably the best thing I've ever done. And it will only continue to get better. So don't worry. I, I, have, I have faith in you all. If you want to be a Kyle Freems, please feel free to ask some questions. If you need any clarification, I mean, this simple five-step guide was enough. Just, just let me know. I can answer all of your questions and more and more. But anywho, that's me. That's Kyle Freems. I'm out of here. See you later, Freemers.